Hi, it's Katrina. From bionic kangaroos to running cheetahs, here are the eight coolest robot animals ever. Number eight, Robo Bee. Of all the interesting creations on this list, none are as small or as delicate as the Robo Bee. Researchers from the Wyss Institute at Harvard University began this project with the vision of developing a small robot capable of flying and landing effectively. And they succeeded! The Robo Bee is half the size of a paperclip and weighs only 80 milligrams. To put that into perspective, it would take about 30 of them to equal the weight of a penny. Pretty cool, huh? They have tiny wings attached to components that react to voltage being applied to them, causing them to contract and thus flap. Currently, the Robo Bees must be tethered to a power source in order to work. However, the researchers at Harvard hope to give them their own contained power sources and sophisticated sensor systems to allow them to sense and traverse their environments both independently and in groups. Kind of a scary thought, isn't it? The lead researcher on the project, E. Helbling, believes that the implications of a swarm of robo-bees could be great in agriculture or search and rescue. These bees could effectively cross-pollinate plants like the real thing. The robo-bee project is certainly still in its early stages, but what it's already capable of is impressive given its tiny size. And now for a classic robot, but first, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified of the latest videos. Number 7. Big Dog Likely the oldest creature on this list is Big Dog. In 2005, DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, funded a project to develop an all-terrain robot to carry military gear for soldiers in areas that were too rough for conventional vehicles. So, engineering and robotics company Boston Dynamics teamed up with Foster Miller, JPL, and Harvard University to develop the perfect robotic creature, Big Dog. Big Dog is a quadrupedal robot that can walk, run, and climb difficult terrain, all while carrying loads of heavy equipment. It's relatively small at only 3 feet long and 2.5 and feet tall, but it weighs in at a heavy 240 pounds. The machinery needed to operate him was quite heavy. It is powered by an engine that operates a hydraulic system which allows the legs to move. It also features onboard computers with numerous sensors that measure things like leg joint position, ground contact, and the force exerted on the joints. It also has an advanced gyroscope and stereoscopic vision system, and these are just the sensors for movement. All of these work together to allow Big Dog to run up to 4 miles per hour, climb 35 degree slopes, run across uneven or slippery ground, and carry up to 340 pounds. And it can do this all without losing its balance or missing a step. It certainly seems like the ideal robotic pack mule for the military. However, Big Dog was eventually rejected by DARPA and discontinued in 2015. The gas-powered engine was just too loud for the robot to be used in military applications. People could hear it coming from miles away. Maybe one day this dog will have its time to shine. Number 6. Cram Roach You may have seen creepy crawlies in your home or outside before, but none like this. Researchers at UC Berkeley began looking into how cockroaches can seem to fit into any space, no matter how small, and get into just about anywhere. What they discovered was that roaches are able to squeeze into tight spaces by repositioning their legs further out to their sides, allowing them to flatten down to a fraction of their original height. They took this information and other findings to develop the robotic cockroach known as the Compressible Robot with Articulated Mechanisms, or CRAM for short. It fits in the palm of your hand so it is not quite as small as an actual cockroach, but the robot can easily traverse through spaces half its original height. Over time, the researchers hope to make the cram smaller and outfit it with cameras, microphones, and sensors. That way, in the event of an earthquake or other disaster, they can be used to effectively search the rubble and debris for trapped survivors. They also hope that the crams can be used to determine which piles of rubble are stable so that rescuers can quickly and safely find survivors. It also has tons of spying implications, just throwing that out there. The original prototype was built by study leader Kaushik Jayaram for less than $100 using simple electronics and motors, cardboard, polyester, and some origami skills. Now, a relatively inexpensive version is being sold as a kit by Dash Robotics. So, for a reasonable price, you could have your very own robotic roach. Pretty cool, huh? Number 5. Bionic Kangaroo German engineering and automation company Festo is known for its many robotic animal ventures, including Bionic Kangaroo. This little joey is able to mimic the jumping movements of a real kangaroo with impressive accuracy. 
It is even able to use the momentum from one jump to help it launch into the next, a skill that gives real kangaroos such impressive stamina. Bionic Kangaroo can be powered by either a small air compressor or a high-pressure storage tank. It varies depending on the specific needs of the model. This compressed air is used to move the pneumatic muscles developed by Festo to allow it to jump. However, with this robot, it is not just about jumping, but sticking the landing, too. This robot is outfitted with a very special kinematic control system to keep it stable so it doesn't tumble right over with every jump. Between the air and electrical systems, the Bionic Kangaroo is able to make a number of sophisticated but subtle movements that allow for its jumping locomotion. It first shifts its center of gravity forward, then kicks off the ground. Meanwhile, the onboard computer assesses its position and then pulls the legs forward and lifts the tail. Finally, once the feet hit the ground, it repositions and prepares all over again for the next leap in a matter of moments. Festo states that Bionic Kangaroo was primarily an experiment in learning methods in which robots can recover energy through combining pneumatic and electronic systems. Clearly, this robotic animal is leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. Hey. <laughs> Number 4. Cheetah 2 so far on this list, we've seen robots that can run and robots that can jump, but this one can do both, and at astounding speeds. The innovative minds at MIT first announced their plans for the cheetah back in 2009, and within three years, they released test footage of it walking and moving. It was about the same size and weight of an actual cheetah, could achieve speeds of up to 13 miles per hour, and was more energy efficient than any other running animal robots out there. Several years later, MIT was still improving their cheetah, and by 2015, they had their robot not only running better, but detecting and jumping over obstacles autonomously. The newer Cheetah 2 has no cameras to see with, but is outfitted with a laser system to measure the distance and height of upcoming obstacles. Once it detects an obstacle, it uses a three-part algorithm developed by the research team to determine what step length it needs to adjust to in order to be better positioned for the jump, when to jump, and how to stick the landing. And the Cheetah 2 is able to figure all this out on the fly. Currently, it is able to leap clear over 18-inch high obstacles, which is over half of the cheetah's height, while running at 5 miles per hour. Granted, it only succeeds in jumping over 7 out of 10 obstacles, but it is still doing a good job. The cheetah was actually funded by DARPA, just like Big Dog, so the team hopes it will see some military and disaster relief use in the future. Until then, we can only watch it with awe and respect. Number 3. The Pluribot in 2016, the scientists at the Switzerland-based EPFL recorded X-ray videos of salamanders walking and moving. Why? To make a robot that can mimic its movement with stunning accuracy. This creation is called the Pluribot. The name Pluribot comes from the salamander species it is based on, Pleurodeles waltle. Made from 3D printed bones and motorized joints, this robot is able to walk, crawl, and even swim underwater just like its organic counterparts. It takes 27 motors and a special 11-piece spinal column with electronic circuitry throughout to get it moving. Developing such a creature wasn't easy, though. The team had to take X-ray videos of salamanders from above and from the sides while tracking as many as 64 points of motion in its skeleton while it demonstrated different types of motion. Other than just constructing a cool salamander robot, the primary goal of developing the Pluribot was to help open the doors for further research and understanding in many other fields. In paleontology, it can be used to hypothesize an animal's locomotion. In neuroscience, the spinal column and circuitry can help us understand the neurological systems in living organisms. It can help us understand things like detailed limb motion and ground reaction force in biomechanics. Or in robotics, it can be used for practical applications such as search and rescue or exploration. The Pluribot is truly an all-in-one salamander. Number 2. iStruct, aka Charlie. You know the old saying, shoot for the moon? Well, this robot might just make it. Meet the iStruct, aka Charlie the Robotic Chimp. Developed by the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, also called DFKI, Charlie serves as their solution to future unmanned missions to the moon. DFKI chose to make a robot chimp because of its stability and versatility and because it allowed them to study several different modes of locomotion. With the four limbs, it has the ability to move and climb more steadily, or it can also stand and walk on just its hind legs for greater speed. By enabling the robot to do both, it can choose which method of movement to use depending on the terrain it encounters. Much like a real chimp, the feet and hands have been designed to have multiple points of contact with the ground. It has over 40 different sensors to measure and detect force, 
collision, and ground contact. The truly astounding innovation in this ambulant beast is the fact that it has a functioning spine. The spine itself plays a big role in the movement and use of the legs. Because of the addition of an actuated spine, the robot actually requires less force to move overall, and thus it saves more energy. However, they are still a long ways to go. They must develop Charlie further with more advanced technologies until they are sure he can withstand the harsh environments of space without any problems. Number 1. StickyBot All of the robots on this list borrow designs or concepts from animals in nature. However, the StickyBot from Stanford University takes it to a new level. You could say to a molecular level. The StickyBot is a lizard robot modeled after geckos. Its primary function is to climb up smooth surfaces with ease. However, it is not as simple as it sounds. Previous climbing robots would have likely used suction cups or adhesives to stick to surfaces. The goal with StickyBot was to climb using dry adhesion, meaning no use of any kind of sticky stuff. To achieve this, the developers of this robot took a page out of the Gecko's book. Geckos are able to climb smooth surfaces because the pads of their feet have small ridges in them. Each ridge, in turn, has millions of thin hairs that are all split at the ends. These split hairs facilitate a molecular attraction with the surface called van der Waals force. This force allows their feet to stick when pulled in one direction, while releasing with ease if pulled in the opposite direction. This dry adhesion is much more preferable to using other kinds of adhesives because it saves the robot energy. With adhesives like glue or tape, it sticks easily, but it takes much more effort to remove, which would be really inefficient for a robotic climber. Since its first development, there have been three total iterations of the StickyBot. The newest one is able to climb painted metal and glass surfaces with ease and can even carry up to 100 pounds with it. Currently, they are planning on repurposing the adhesive technology for personal human use while also continuing to work on their robotic reptile. Maybe one day you'll be climbing up the walls along with a sticky bot. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!